Welcome to the Team to Beat Miami Heat podcast. My name is Amir. Thank you for following the podcast on Apple or Spotify. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you could subscribe, like, share, and comment, that would mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. So the Miami Heat's rookie, Jaime Hawkins Jr., recently was interviewed regarding hitting the rookie wall as the postseason is near. So there's no doubt that Jaime Hawkes Jr. has had an exciting first season with the Miami Heat so far. He was selected out of UCLA after a four-year career there as the 18th overall pick. And he's been a huge piece in the Miami Heat's rotation. And he had a conversation reflecting on his season thus far. The 23-year-old star has won back-to-back Eastern Conference Rookie of the Month awards this season as he's filled in for Jimmy Butler and others when they have missed significant time. And he took advantage of his opportunities. And since then, since players have been returning, he is still one of the first players that comes off the bench. And he is a focal point. And one of the biggest challenges for him is the longevity of the season. So Hawkeyes was quoted saying, I think the biggest challenge is the longevity of the season. It's a lot of games. And I think you never understand what that is until you get there. I think that's kind of been the biggest thing for me, just enduring the games and the longevity of the season. And so Jaime Jaquez has played over 60 games this season. He's played the second most games behind Duncan Robinson, and I believe has played more games than even Bam Adebayo, which is impressive. So even as a rookie, he's trying to step back and appreciate his opportunity and appreciate everything So he says he takes himself out of his shoes and appreciates everything. He takes a really grateful and thankful approach that I get to do what I love. This is the job I get to do and I love it. Then try to relax sometimes, lay by the pool, relax, enjoy the Miami sun, and try to have a balance. So despite him having a standout rookie season, there has been a dip in his production uh, over the past few months. And that can be attributed to different variables and one thing, it could be because of Miami's depth and when players were injured, he had the opportunity, got to step up, got to start multiple games even. And when players like Caleb Martin have come back, Jimmy Butler, and then players like Hay- Haywood Highsmith have got into the rotation as well as others, you know, you miss your opportunity to have the exact same role. So you have to adapt. Um, but Hawkes was asked about the wall and he said, it could be many things. I don't want to put it in one particular thing. I think most of it is just me trying to be mentally ready. I'm just going out there to play my game and do what I can to help the team. So Hawk has averaged 14 points, four rebounds, three assists while shooting 51% from the field, 35% from three before injuring his groin in mid January. After the injury, his numbers have gone down and that could be for different reasons, not just because there might be a lingering injury, but I think it's showing that they're scouting him more. And so he sees that as a sign of respect. He said, I take it as a sign of respect and guys got to worry about me now. That's what you want as a player. Now my next step is to how do I adjust to the new coverages that I see and how can I make the right play when the double team is coming? How can I manipulate the defense? That's kind of one of the biggest things that we talk about. Use my pull of the defense to get guys open and how can you manipulate and get great shots? So Jaime Hawkes, again, big piece for this Miami Heat and great rotational player, great rookie, and he's definitely going to make a splash in the playoffs. He's going to be a part of our rotation. I'm sure he's going to be part of the top eight, top nine guys who typically play in a SPO rotation during the playoffs. And he knows that the Heat need a sense of urgency to finish out the season on a strong note and to avoid the play-in. And he thinks that the team is a playoff contender And he's excited for the opportunity to play in the postseason. And he's hoping that the Miami Heat can make a deep run. So just want to give a shout out to to Jaime Hawkes Jr. for, you know, fighting through the season. You know, there's always going to be ups and downs during a rookie season. But he has been a breath of fresh air and a revelation as the 18th pick overall. And he's been fitting in seamlessly with this Miami Heat culture. So anyway, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody has a good one.